Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to make this cracked stone sort of material with this gold inlay that kind of runs in between the cracks. Um, I don't know what you'd use this sort of material for but I think there'd be some sort of cool application for it. Um, maybe some sort of dragon egg or some sort of um, ancient artifact. It just looks really, really cool. I'm going to show you step by step how to make it using nodes in Blender. We're going to be using Blender 4.2 and we will be rendering with cycles. And we're also going to be relying on real displacement here. So this um, mesh here is actually getting displaced. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make this, uh, let's jump into the tutorial and I'll just quickly show you. This is the node setup. So not too many nodes to mess with. So um, yeah, let's jump in and make this material. So what I have here is just a sphere with some area lights and I'm in my render engine here. I've set it to cycles and that's the setup I have here. So we're going to be making this sort of fantasy cracked rock with sort of gold inlay. So um, let's go over to our shading workspace and in our camera view, let's press Z and go rendered. And we're going to start by going shift A search and getting a Voronoi texture, placing it over here. In fact, for now, I'm just going to press Z and go into solid view. And let's just first start setting up some nodes here. So we're going to go and drag on the vector here. We're going to type in mix color and get a color mix. There we go. We're going to change the bottom input here to mix. And then we'll go shift a search and get a texture coordinate by typing it in. And we're going to take the generated and plug it into the A input. Then we're going to go shift a search and get a noise texture. And take the generated and plug it into the vector and then we're going to take this factor and plug it into the B input here. We're going to take the factor and make it 0.2 and then we're going to come here to our Veronoi. We're going to give it a um, the method here. Let's just make that distance to edge and then we're going to make it 4D as well. Then let's take the scale. Let's make it 12. The detail will make it 10. The roughness will make it 0.4. And then we're going to come here to our noise texture. We're going to give it a scale of 6. We're going to come to the detail and give it a detail of 10. And then with that done, we're going to go shift a search and get a color ramp. Let's plug the distance into the factor. And then let's make this black value over here more of like a gray. Let's drag this white almost all the way down to here. And now if we were to kind of visualize that by plugging in here, we can go Z and go rendered. And you can see that's kind of like the basis of what we're working with here. This is what's going to give us a nice looking cracks. Okay, so let's go now. And for now, I'm just going to plug this back out of the base color. Let's grab this principle and go shift D to duplicate it and move it down. So now we've got two principles and we're going to go shift A search and get a mix and get a mix shader, place it here. Let's plug the top one into the top shader input and the bottom into the bottom. And let's take these two and plug them, this one here and plug it into the surface of the material output. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this color here and plug it into the factor of the mix, the one that's going out of here. And then let's come here to our top base color and let's make that sort of yellowish. Let's make it metallic. And let's bring that roughness down to about 0.2. And in the bottom one, we're also going to make metallic. We're going to bring down the roughness to about 0.3 and a half. And then we're going to go shift a search and just get a noise texture. Let's plug the color into the base color here. Shift a search and get a color ramp. Oops, a color ramp. There we go. Place it on here. And then drag this black value up and this white value down a little bit. And then you're going to come here to the detail and make it 12. You're going to come to the roughness and make it 0.8. And then you're going to go shift a search and get a bump. A bump just by typing it in like so. Let's take this color and plug it into the height of the bump. Then we're going to take this normal and put it into normal of this principle here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to also take this bump output, the normal here, and put it into the normal of the top principle as well. And let's give the strength of 0.15, like so. So now let's go over here and let's go Z and let's go rendered. And here we kind of have our material, but it kind of really lacks that displacement. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our material output. We're going to go shift a search and get a displacement. We're going to plug the displacement into displacement of the material output. And then we're going to take this color ramp here and take that color, the top one here and plug it into the height. 
Let's get a strength of 0.2. And then go to our material properties here and go down to settings. And then change it from bump only to bump and displacement. So now if we go Z and we go rendered, you can see we have a really cool looking uh, material. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and maybe make the scale 0.1. So let's now go ahead and go render and render the image to give it a test render. And now we have a really cool looking um, sort of fantasy crock, crack metallic rock, kind of like what you picture in a kind of like a asteroid to look like or a comet of some sort, um, the kind of metal you would get in space. And it's just kind of cool having this sort of gold inlaid into cracks. Um, I can see this material use, being used for all sorts of really cool projects and I thought I'd just share it with you guys today. So um, if you've liked this tutorial on making this material, definitely give a like, subscribe, check out some of my other content and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.